That's the village of Benabarre, where I spent the last uh, day and a half. So I spent two nights there. It was gonna rain uh, for a day and a half. Then I went around the village a little bit. Charming. And I find a horse. So I was able to, to sit out the, the rain. And it stopped raining uh, last night. The soil is very heavy. Today is gonna be sunny, so I'm hoping it dries a little bit, the, at least the, the surface of the, of the trails, because uh, it's, uh, it's freezing at night. Tonight is gonna be minus two, so it might get dangerous tomorrow morning to be on the trail if it's frozen. What's going on here? Hunting probably, yeah? Peligro, Batida de Casa Mayor. I feel like the hunters in uh, in Spain. They feel like they, ho they own the fucking country. Everything is them, you know. They label every fucking inch of the country. The Montsec by packing loop in the summer must be really, really epic. I love it. Shit star. It's pretty good even in December. Yeah, pretty good. It's great. Just the, the temperature is not super pleasant. Today is pleasant. I mean, I can't complain. I'll be complaining this evening when the temperature will drop to well below freezing. And it's not gonna be super fun, humid at minus two in my tent. I just hope the trail uh, gets a little drier today. Hopefully the sun will shine and dry it a bit, otherwise tomorrow morning it's gonna be very complicated. In a half kilometer, turn right. There's not much grip as well, but we manage. And coming from here, at this junction, the up says keep left and then slightly left. I check the map and I have to go right. This up turn by turn is a little stupid. Fantastic scenery. I love it. I love it. Uh, going down slowly but surely. I don't want to 
destroy anything with all these rocks. I think I should sing a bit. I could hear some uh, hunters around here. Maybe they think I'm a wild boar. This is the village of Siskar. Uh, I guess, if my pronunciation is right. It's probably not much going on. None of these villages has anything going on, to be honest. There are many opportunities to, to buy food in these little villages because most of them, they don't have a shop or a bar. And since I started till here, so it's basically a little bit over half of the Monsac, I don't think I went through a village that had a supermarket, or at least I don't remember. But definitely the last few days, no. And in a two or three days, I will arrive to a bigger village that has a, has a couple of supermarkets. I saw it on the map, there is Dia. So there, uh, there is the opportunity to have cheap food. I mean, most of the people that they come to do the Monsec bikepacking loop, they probably don't care because they, they have the resources to pay for a slightly more expensive food, or they probably don't even cook, people stop at the bar or uh, restaurants to have food. I think I will stop around here to have lunch. These rocks look sweet. That's gonna be my seat. Lunch is over made myself a sandwich and these are my views post lunch I decided to stop halfway through because uh, it was a nice place in the sun sheltered by the wind I was getting to be very hungry I didn't want to wait till I arrived to the Ermita I'm sure you cannot see but down there there are some peaks they are full of snow it snowed a lot in the last day day and a half those are the Pyrenees so the Monsac doesn't get as much uh, snow. After lunch I took my last peel of Meloxicam. Seven peels, seven days, 15 milligrams a day. Now I need to stop because uh, otherwise I, I might risk to damage my liver or my stomach. Even though I was taking omeprazole, it's a gastroprotector. But 50 milligrams a day is the highest dosage. Now let's see. How's the next few days? This pill should have effect until tomorrow. And then after tomorrow, I think I can complete the route in four days. So, let's see. Then I have to get to Barcelona, but I can do all paved road. So now the app told me keep left. There's one road on the left, one road on the right, one road straight. 
Keep laugh, where would you, where would you go? Like, have a guess. You go there, no? Keep left. No, keep left is going straight. Spectacular! Monsac by Packing Loop. Very, very fun. Very enjoyable. Another great day of riding. It's getting a bit windy. But I think it's uh, it's okay. It will get very cold in an hour or two. Tonight, minus two. At some point, this must have been a big, big river. Now, there is not much going on. But beautiful. Finestras, 4.5 kilometers. This is another side version from the Monsac by Packing Loop. I think I'm gonna skip it. I'm such a lazy bastard. the sunset still climbing up now it's it's a little flat for a kilometer and then it will go to the need to climb another four or five kilometers I think in about five six kilometers if I turn right I can get to a refugio then I'll be dry for the night there are two problems though. Problem number one from the turn off. There are 7.5 kilometers down here. So it means that tomorrow morning I have to climb it back. And second of all, I think you have to pay. But I don't have internet connection. So let's see when I get there. I try to see if I can find some more information online. Look at these birds. I don't know if they are falcons. They're really big birds. Wow. It could be eagles as well. Huh? Very, very big.
Now they move ahead here. We are uh, about a kilometer or two away from before. Look at the view, it's wonderful. Very wonderful. What a view! What a view! Look at that. Fabulous. And that's it. If there are many trees, I show you the view on the left. Ah, yes. Yes. See the mountain with the snow? The first one has snow only on the very top. But the ones behind, they have loads of snow. Another fantastic day on the Monsac by Pakin Loop. 30 minutes of sunset. It's getting windy and chilly. Okay. Here the hunters, they have two wild boars. Look. The biggest one they, they killed. Look at that. They killed eight wild boars and they sell them to butchers. It's a bit sad to see the wild boars dead there, but to be honest, they have to. There are too many of those uh, wild boars. And they have no predators because basically there are no wolves, nothing, so they keep reproducing. And then uh, it's a problem for the whole ecosystem. Jesus. Look at that. Sunset was a few minutes ago. I still have uh, one kilometer to the turn off. The temperature is dropping. Not sure how accurate is this uh, 4.8, but yeah, it's dropping fast. Okay, this is the turn off. I need to take a decision. 